Alright guys, so one other thing I want to do before we move on to the next file is this. I actually forgot to public products. I just want to make an empty constructor. So then we aren't constrained to having to make a product name or pass in product name every time we want to create a product object. If we ever decide we just want to create an object and then set the name later on, we can do that with initializing it with an empty constructor. So after this, what I want to do is I want to actually add a new class, and I'm going to call this class my DB handler. Now, people typically call these DB um, managers or DB handlers, and what they are is it's going to be a class specifically for working with that database, with that file that we can save on the user's device. So let me delete this first and paste in all my imports and while you copy these down I'll explain this so this class is going to be responsible for everything that you do with the database whenever you create a new database whenever you upgrade a database whenever you add products or items to that database anything that pretty much if you're trying to do something in the sentence involves the word database this is what this class is going to be responsible for now another thing that I would highly recommend is after you type all the code from this tutorial keep it and set aside because whenever you want to work with this again pretty much whenever you want to app that can save stuff um, you can just paste this in change a few variables and it's going to work fine so the first thing we need to do in order to use the SQL database we need to extend SQL open helper right here so it's giving us some errors because it says okay there are a couple things that you need to do whenever you inherit from this class now we'll get to those in just a sec but for right now let me just go ahead and make a few variables so we need to set up a few variables for a what do you want to name the database um what do you want your table to be named in variables that store each column name so let's do that right now so private static final int the first one is database version now for right now just set this equal to one because this is the very first time we're creating this database and I spelled version wrong so this is our first database version It's going to consist of one table and that table is going to be able to store however many items you want and those items are going to have an ID and a product name cool 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 pretty cool app oh wait a minute all my users are complaining because they want to be able to store the color of their products as too. Well now I need a new database structure so whenever you update your database you're gonna to have to upgrade the version as well and that just makes the rest of your app compatible with the information that you're trying to store. Simple enough. Oh, so now let me copy these private static final string and make a constant called a database name now of course essentially what we're doing is we are saving the users information to a file so that way they can turn off their phone go use other apps and come back to here and it's saved so inside the database name is just what do you want to name the file well I'm just gonna name it product.db whatever or products might as well since you're probably gonna store a couple in here name it whatever you want but make sure you have that DB extension that tells Android that there is a database file stored in here. So after this is pretty much just MySQL stuff public static final string table products and what this is is just the name of your table. So remember how MySQL works is you have a database and you can store a bunch of different tables inside that one database. Now for this example we're just going to have one table in it but of course that table still needs a name and I'm going to name mine products. Now the only other two variables or constants that you need are this. The names of your columns. So again they're strings and I'm going to name it column underscore ID and this is of course the ID 
and if you just copy this and however many columns you have in your in your table then just add a new constant for each but I'm only gonna have two product name and of course this is just product name so again if we ever decide to update our structure of the database then we're gonna need to change the version this is just the file that you're saving on the device the files name this is the name of your table and for every single column in your table just go ahead and make it a constant so then if we ever have to change it we don't have to change it a million times only right here so now let's go ahead and get rid of these errors so these errors are saying in order to use SQL storage on your phone you need to do three things you first need the constructor second and we have to do some stuff to here but I'm just gonna show you guys what you need second you need to override two methods so let's go ahead and override methods and that is on create and on upgrade now as soon as you add those then the errors go away but of course we need to understand what these mean so the constructor is essentially just for housekeeping stuff we need to pass some information along to the super class pretty much the class that works directly with Android and takes care of all the behind the scenes stuff for the SQL so the first thing we need is context which is this background information which is fine the next one is the name of your database oh look at that already took care of it right there so pass along the name so it knows which file to save it under and the factory background information now the version is what database version are you working with boom roasted now what are these methods right here well the reason that we needed these methods are because it's saying okay whenever you create this table for the first time what do you want me to do well right now it's doing nothing but of course it needs to know what you want to do so that's why it made you implement this method and this on upgrade if you ever are upgrading your version then it's gonna call this right here so again the very first time that we run this it's gonna call this on create method so it would probably be a good idea in here to create that table so we can store stuff in it so in order to do this if you ever work with PHP or anything it's probably gonna be pretty easy but we first need to make a new query and you can name your variable anything you want I just like naming it query and the query of this is going to be create table just like normal SQL and of course we need to pass table products in other words your table name so create table called products now after here it's saying okay well what columns do you want so add that little parenthesis and now you give the names of all your columns so the first one is ID my nose is kind of like stuffy or something right now all right let me just set up the structure for this first all right so for each row actually let me just finish typing everything and then I'll uh, it'll probably make a lot more sense all right so again this is probably the best way to set up your query create a table and then after it, you write the name of your table which will be products and then inside these little parentheses right here you write each you pretty much write the information about each column you want created with your table so for the ID what properties do we want for the ID well this is pretty easy obviously we want it to be an integer a number we also want it to be the primary key so that it can't be duplicated so this is pretty much the unique identifier for this and the last one is auto increment so that way we don't need to pass it a number manually every time it automatically increases by one saves us a bunch of code now for the product name this is a little bit easier the only thing we're gonna write in here is text 
since we're going to be storing a word like ham, tuna, um, Powerade, Kleenex, whatever. I'm really just looking at everything around my computer. I see a Powerade, a Kleenex. It's for blowing my nose, people, not what you probably would think. And of course, I have a huge Christmas ham and a tuna that I rest my feet on instead of a footstool. Anyways, moving on, not important, and this is definitely not weird at all. Let's go ahead and take db dot exec sql and pass our query in here. So this is essentially how we execute queries on Android. Simple stuff. Now db got passed in. By the SQL database, so we don't have to worry about that. And exec, exec SQL, oh, it's kind of weird to say, it, means execute the SQL query. What query, query do you want to execute? Well, how about this one that we just created? So, again, whenever it creates this database for the very first time, it's going to create this table right here. And once it's created, we can start storing some products in it.